Hello and welcome. Okay, I know that everyone is super, super busy today because, of course, it is a weekend. And so I'm just going to share a little bit here with marketing because, as anyone who knows me knows, I love being a marketer. I love being attraction marketing and I love what I do. Not only does it give me the freedom that I want, I get to work from home, I get to work on my schedule, I get to work when I want. And that is one of the basic reasons why I love marketing. So a lot of you out there, maybe you're the same way. You love what you're doing and maybe you're just not quite getting the sales you want yet and you're still chasing the leads, right? That's what it is. We all need to get the leads in our business in order to grow our business and to be profitable. That's a given. You can't go wrong there. It's just, that's the way it is. But marketing isn't for everyone. It is hard to learn. It is hard in the beginning when you're starting out. And one of the big concepts with that is, is a lot of people don't teach attraction marketing. And they're not teaching the easy steps it is to learn to attract your target market. One thing that is very simple and I would like to put out there for you all today is when you use attraction marketing, it is just what it says. You are attracting your target market to you. And here's an easy, simple way that you can do this in your business. And it doesn't cost you anything because you're going to use your profile. Okay, now I know you're on... Facebook, maybe you're on Twitter, maybe you're on Instagram, Pinterest, you know, all the other platforms. Every platform you have a profile. Yes, a profile. So come on, tell me if you here. What does your profile say about you? What does your profile speak about you? Like, I love traveling. I love spending time with my family. I love getting out and meeting people. I'm just all about that. And you'll notice in a lot of my posts, it's always inspirational. I'm a religious person. I follow God. And I am religious. And I put it out there in that text. So if you're using your profile, which I so, so attract, use attraction marketing. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited. My words are getting fumbled. Use attraction marketing and use your profile, regardless of what platform you're on. Your pro profile needs to reflect you. Because you've heard the saying, like attracts like. Well, those people will be attracted to you because of what you're interested in, because of what you're doing. Maybe you, you have the same dog they have, or maybe you're a cat person, or maybe you just like to travel. Or maybe you just like to be home with your family. All of those things. There'll be You'll have a market out there that people are attracted to you. And when you use attraction marketing in your business, it's the same concept. Is you will attract the people to you that you'll be able to help the most. That you'll be able to help them grow their business. Or maybe you just need a little bit of insight. And they're going to help you grow your business. I don't know about you guys, but I always learn something from when I'm teaching somebody or I'm teaching a group or I'm teaching someone, I always learn something from the people I talk to. And it may be shallow learning, but and it may not hit me right away. It may hit me you know, sometime later, but it always hits. And it's like, wow, where did I learn that? That is amazing. So if that is your concept and if that's something that you're doing, I'm sorry, I'm going to adjust my screen here a little bit. But if you're using attraction marketing, which I highly suggest, don't use just basic marketing because what that is, that is just like spamming. And that's not a good way to have your business because then you'll be known as a spammer. You don't want that. No, you want to be known as a reputable person who is offering good content. Right? We can't go wrong with that. So look at your profile and see what it says about you. Use your profile to grow who you are, to attract the market you want to attract to you. When you use your profile, and it's free, it's, it says about you, 
if you just have a, a blank profile or it just says one or two things, or maybe it doesn't even have anything saying about you specifically, or if you're in marketing, if you're in home business, you know, don't put everything out there on your profile about everything you do in your business. You could just have have a teaser put, you know, I'm I'm in marketing or I'm an attraction marketer or you know, I'm selling health. I, I love I love doing health and wellness because, you know, and leave it at that and just put the dot dot dot. Because that's gonna leave it open and that will have more people responding to your profile because they're going to want to know, well, what is it? That is called a curiosity. Hold on. I have all these things popping up. That's called a curiosity. And when you put out a curiosity post or even a curiosity statement on your profile, that is more and more engagement you're going to get because people will be like, well, what is it? You know, what is, what is he or she, you know, what is so interesting? What are they doing? You know, I want to know what they're doing. Then they're going to start looking at you, start looking at you more, what you're posting, what your fan page looks like, all those things. And people will start getting more and more in tune to what and start following you. What's going on? What is he or she doing? You know, what, how can I learn that? Or how can I learn how to do that? So that is a huge, huge benefit for you. If you, and this is just, this is a free tip. Use your profile to grow your business. You can't go wrong when you have you out there because don't, and I mean this specifically, do not brand your opportunity. Do not brand your product. Do not brand anything you're selling. Brand you because you are the most important factor. So don't be having another name on your profile, a company name. And if you have, for your business, have your name. If you are an online entrepreneur and you're an online business owner, your name is what people will resonate with and your name, your face, your profile. And make sure any picture that you put on your profile is a clear, precise picture of just you. You don't wanna have anybody else. You wanna have a front and center picture. You want it to be specific because people are going to look at that. Don't have any, any other picture of, you know, other people, you know, I know it's nice to have something with your family and everything, but you want to brand you. Just a nice, clean cut picture of you and make sure you can see your face. Don't have half of you cut off here or half of you cut off there. Make sure it specifically looks really good on you. And then put it out there on your profile because this is a marketing tip, okay? And put out what you're interested in, what you do, you know, just basically simple. Keep it simple. But people will start watching you and following you and looking at your posts and seeing what you're doing. And it's okay to talk about your family and, you know, post pictures of your kids or whatever. If that's what is part of your life, then there's nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't exploit anything with that, you know, the kids or anything. That was what's going on in the world today. But, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there is okay. I'm sure it's not going to be, you know, a problem. But when you're using your business page, I would like to see you focus on you, on growing your business and branding yourself because you are the leader in your business. You are the person that is going to be right there. And people will be contacting you. They'll be following you. You may have people that follow you for six months, a year, maybe even two years before they even decide to ask what you're doing or how you're doing it or, you know, how you're making all this money or, you know, how come you have all this freedom? How come you can go and do this and that and have all this? So if that is where you're at, don't be dissuaded, I should say, in any way, shape or form. If you're not having people, you have followers and you have people on your friends list, and, but you're not getting a lot of engagement from every single person, that's okay. Because like I said, some people will follow you for a long time before they decide, well, let me see what you're doing. You, you seem to always be having something going on. You seem to be always being able to do this or that. So keep that in mind. As long as you keep giving out value, as long as you keep 
update your profile whenever you choose to, you know, every few months, add something to it, take something away, change your post set a little bit, you know, maybe you want to go into a little bit more meditation posts or, you know, whatever it is you're interested in, whatever it is, put it out there and talk a little bit about it. You can incorporate you into your marketing. You can incorporate you into your business. I do that all the time. I incorporate my life into my business and I actually run my life around my business. Yeah, my lifestyle comes first and then my business comes second. Always the lifestyle, the family, that's all for me, it's all entwined together. My business is second. It's not first, it never has been, never will be. So if that is your focus, then that is fine. Don't hesitate to, you know, tell people that. Why not? You're able to make it work. Why not have it share with someone else so that maybe you can give them tips on how they can make it work too. That's what it's all about, guys. It's all about sharing what we know, what we have. And you can even put together uh, trainings, you know, um, PDFs or eBooks. You could sell them. If that's what you choose to do, then that's, that's great. It's a good business market. So, again, this training today is on promoting you using attraction marketing, which is the key. And get your profile updated. Get a good, crisp picture of just you and update your business page so it's all reflecting what you're doing it's that simple it takes a little bit of work and like I said marketing is not easy but when you use attraction marketing you can take a lot of the glitch out of it because you're gonna learn how to market at a fun easy pace and it's also simpler than trying to chase people I don't chase people if someone decides they want help or they want to know what I'm doing or they want to do what I'm doing, that's what it's about. You don't chase anybody. You just let them come to you and you're there to help them. And that's the way it should be. There should be no stress or no pressure. So I appreciate you guys taking the time today. I know you all are so busy to um, share this time with me. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to PM me. And if you would, I would appreciate like and share on this video. And also take a look at it on, on YouTube. I'm going to kick it over there here in just a little bit. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And again, use your profile to market you because you are branding yourself and not your opportunity. Okay, guys, I will chat with you later. And thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Thank you.